In this video, I'm going to show you basically a magic trick to set your default settings in InDesign. If you haven't been using this, it's going to change your life, I swear. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach people how to design and produce beautiful wedding invitations. Check out our channel, like, and subscribe to get so many invitation design and business running tips. This is something I learned when I was studying for a lesson in my stationary design membership. I was learning all about InDesign because I don't use InDesign that much, but when I do, I find it a little bit frustrating to constantly have to change things. Oh my gosh, did this tip just completely change my life. So when you are in InDesign, you have no documents open, you're just in this main page. Anything you do is going to set a default for the future that will be true every document you open in the future and you can always change this. So for instance, I'm gonna go to window, type in tables and just click character and it's gonna open this like fake looking document. It's not really a document because you can't see the name of it over here, but I've got all of these settings and anything I do is going to be default forever. So what I'm gonna do right now is just change the default font to one that is for my brand because often what I'm using InDesign for is creating downloads or PDFs for my brand. So I'm gonna set it to my brand's uh, paragraph text, which is the one I'm gonna use the most often, which is gonna be Meriwether Light. We're gonna set it to 11 point font and I'm going to give it 25 uh, tracking just because I like that. So then when I exit out of InDesign and I come back in, it's gonna take a second to load. All right, we're loaded. I'm gonna do a new file that will be eight and a half by 11. That's kind of my standard size. And this is where the magic happens. So if I create a text box here, you'll see it's automatically in Meriwether Light 11 point with 25 tracking. So I have just saved myself so much time if I'm gonna start 55 different text boxes on here. Um, obviously you're not necessarily going to have the same default that you want for every document you're creating, but I recommend doing something with like your brand or if there's a, a project you're working on, go in and set your default to whatever font you need for that project and then change it again on your next project, but it's gonna save you so much time. So you can do Basically anything here, you can of course um, do things like unchecking or checking hyphenate. You can change your settings for your margins and things. I think the font one is just like absolutely my favorite uh, because I'm always going in and kind of changing the font and it's so annoying when it starts as Myriad Pro or Minion Pro or whatever it is that it's set to automatically. So I hope this is helpful to you. I think it's going to change your life if you didn't know about this trick with InDesign. Let me know what other questions you have about InDesign, Illustrator, any of the Adobe programs that we use and I'd be happy to answer those for you. Okay, and I know you can do this with character styles and things, but I just love that you can set your defaults here. And there's a different way to do it in Illustrator. You can't do it exactly this way, so I'll film a different video showing you how to do that. While you're here, I hope you'll check out some of our other Adobe and invitation design videos. And if you have any questions about features I can cover in any of the Adobe programs, please let me know and I'd be happy to film some videos for you. Thanks, everybody.